All right, we're going to come up with a differential diagnosis for jaundice, which by definition is the yellowing of the skin, often the whites of the eyes as well. It's due to excess bilirubin in the bloodstream, and that is called hyperbilirubinemia. Now when a condition has numerous causes, like jaundice, it can be very useful using a mnemonic that covers many of the organ systems, as well as the categories of disease. The one I prefer is Vindicate, which I'm about to show you. But now before we expand this, let's briefly review the condition. So we know that jaundice is due to excess bilirubin in the blood. Now, bilirubin gets released from red blood cells when they die, and that occurs about every 120 days. Specifically, bilirubin is part of the heme components of hemoglobin. The liver is the organ responsible for excreting bilirubin, which goes into the bile, and that goes into the GI tract. So it's useful dividing the causes of jaundice into one prehepatic, two hepatic, and three posthepatic. The V in Vindicate is for vascular. So for jaundice we have hemobilia, which is probably fairly uncommon. It's a fistula that connects the vessels to the bile ducts, and it actually has numerous causes, including those listed, and it actually does have a classic triad. Next I put in Maha, which is actually a form of hemolytic anemia, which I will talk about. I put it in now just because it shows up often on board questions. It's identified by the finding of anemia and schistocytes on peripheral blood smear. The most important causes of Maha include TTP, HUS, DIC, and eclampsia. Now, when you get to hemolysis, things get a bit tricky because as you can see, there are over 20 extrinsic causes for hemolytic anemia and over 10 intrinsic causes of anemia. But what I would suggest, rather than getting hung up at this point, is to continue using the Vindicate mnemonic and these things should continue to come up along the way. For example, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. The I is for infectious, inflammatory, and autoimmune. Uh, there are many infectious agents that cause hemolytic anemia which, of course, is a, a prehepatic cause of jaundice. Cholangitis, on the other hand, which is inflammation of the bile ducts, often bacterial, is a posthepatic obstruction, preventing the bile from getting from the liver to the GI tract. I would highly recommend memorizing Charcot's triad and Reynolds' pentad. For whatever reason, they love to pimp you on these, so if you haven't memorized them already, you might as well do it now. N is for neoplasm, both primary and metastatic. Hepatic metastases from the GI tract being by far the most common. Hepatoma, also called hepatocellular carcinoma. And then pancreatic cancer, which causes a post-hepatic obstruction. And finally, cholangiocarcinoma. And then we have D, which stands for drugs. Chronic alcohol use can cause fatty liver, otherwise known as steatosis, hepatitis, and cirrhosis with varying levels of jaundice. Uh, many medications cause jaundice, including isoniazid, augmentin, statins, among others, volatile substances, and finally contraceptives. Next we have I, which is for iatrogenic, uh, the most common cause being uh, pancreatitis, status post ERCP. This can further cause a uh, post-hepatic obstruction. And then also surgical strictures, uh, also can occur during ERCP. There are also idiopathic causes including primary sclerosing cholangitis which would fit that category. You may also think of uh, PBC which is primary biliary cirrhosis. I'm not sure if that's idiopathic but uh, since I don't know what causes it to me it is idiopathic. C is for congenital, developmental, and inherited. So we have the intrinsic red blood cell disorders, starting with hereditary spherocytosis. Uh, and then stepping away from that, we have Dubin-Johnson and Rotor syndrome, which are causes of increased conjugated bilirubin, Gilbert's and kreigler nadger uh, types 1 and 2, causing increased unconjugated bilirubin. Uh, next we have biliary atresia, common in uh, newborn infants. And finally, G6PD deficiency, which is another cause of intrinsic red blood cell deficiency. And to be complete, there is uh, sickle cell disease and thalassemias as well. The A is for anatomic. 
this point we're starting to see a lot of repeats because of the overlap. Um, T is for trauma, so soft tissue injuries resulting in large hematomas. And then there is just hepatic trauma. And then finally E is for environmental exposures, which we covered, endocrine and metabolic. And hyperalimentation is the intake of excess nutrients, uh, which is definitely different than breastfeeding jaundice, which is um, an exaggeration of physiologic jaundice seen in exclusively breastfed infants not getting enough breast milk. So essentially it's inadequate enteral intake that uh, uh, increases the enterohepatic circulation uh, and causes jaundice in, in babies. And this is a pretty thorough and complete differential diagnosis for jaundice using the Vindicate mnemonic. I hope this was useful and uh, good luck if you use it in the future for other conditions.